How's it going, people of the internet? My name is MDKWLAN, otherwise known as MDK, and today we are in Ubuntu 12.04. And, well, it's a VM, because I didn't feel like restarting my computer and doing this, so, eh, whatever. But today we're going to go over a question that was asked uh, through PM on YouTube, and I apologize for not knowing what the person's username was, because I accidentally deleted it after I responded to him. So, I do apologize, mate. So, just give me a PM and I'll throw your name into the annotations uh, but the question was what web browser do you use and is it different between what whatever distribution you're on um, so primarily I switch between um, Arch and Windows 7 uh, Windows 8 rather and sometimes Ubuntu depends on what mood I'm in. Sometimes Arch pisses me off to the point that I just say screw it, I'm done with rolling release distributions. And then I end up installing it five minutes later. So, <laughs> that's kind of how it works for me. So with Nightly, um, I, I normally respond Firefox because people know what Firefox is. But uh, technically the name of it's Nightly. It's Firefox Nightly build. And when what makes it unique is that Firefox Nightly is a rolling release distribution of Firefox web browser. So I like my web browsers like I like my operating systems, rolling release, bleeding edge man, you know, all that wonderful stuff. So the Firefo Firefox Nightly itself can be used on Windows 8, Windows 7, um, any distribution of Linux. Uh, you can grab the tarball off of uh, the Nightly build website, the download page, or if you're on Ubuntu or any spin of Ubuntu, so L Ubuntu, um, K Ubuntu, Ed Ubuntu, da 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 da. Uh, you can add it to your PPA so then whenever you do a sudo apt get update request, it downloads the latest build and you don't have to worry about any fedangling of like your app sources file and stuff like that. So I like to make my life as simple as possible. So how to do this? You want to do uh, sudo add yeah add apt repositories tab to autofill ppa colon ubuntu hyphen mozilla hyphen daily uh, i l y slash ppa press enter and it will prompt you to hit enter again and it'll add it to you i already have all this done and download it you know save save some time on the video and then after that do a sudo apt get update request updates you know, I don't think I typed it in right. There we go. Do an update. I think it's going to probably bitch to me that this needs to be updated because I haven't loaded this VM in a long time. And then uh, after that, do a sudo apt-get install Firefox hyphen trunk. You can tab the autofill of that too. Um, it's already downloaded here, so it's not going to do anything. Um, so that's a download it. Um, there should not be any problems with like add-ons. Uh, personally, I really don't use that many add-ons. I use one, and it's called NoScript. Um, and I rarely use NoScript. The only time I ever use it is when I'm going to sketchy websites that I don't trust. But apart from that, like Flash Player and Java, if you already have them installed, it should work fine. Um, if this is a fresh install of Ubuntu, I would always suggest that you install the Ubuntu Extra Package on the uh, Software Center. Uh, or the restricted extras, I forget what they're calling it now. Um, but you shouldn't have any problems with that. But what I normally do is I don't like having two web browsers because if I go into updates here, I already removed it, but let's pretend for a minute. <laughs> uh, within the updates, it might not actually because I, I haven't rechecked it. No, it's gone. Anyway, it's, it'll tell you that there's updates for the stable build and then there's updates for the unstable build. If you don't feel like downloading two distribution, two different things for a web browser, you can just remove uh, the Firefox stable. So sudo apt-get purge b-u-r-g-e Firefox and that will remove the Firefox, uh, the Firefox stable build that comes with Ubuntu. Um, if you wanted to remove Firefox trunk, like you don't like it and you want to uninstall it, it'd be Firefox trunk um, and then that would remove a TR. We'll spell it right, obvious. T-R-U-N. Okay. Um, apart from that, Firefox, uh, 
Nightly build should be perfectly fine here. And, I don't know, make sure it works. And it works. So, there's like I said, there should be absolutely zero problems with uh, any add-ons that you can think of. I could think of maybe some add-ons people would have, like YouTube, the Flash Rippers, and stuff like that, that might, you know, not, might not be compatible with rolling release, but if you're just running a web browser to run a web browser to go on Reddit or 4chan or something like that, you should be fine. Uh, but there is one thing with uh, Nightly Build within Windows 8 that I would like to show you. So I do understand this is about Ubuntu, but, it, you know, it's mainly about nightly build and stuff like that. So, one moment. So, we're on Windows 8 here. Like I said, I'm running a VM to record. And if you press the Windows key and you get this wonderful Metro scheme. <sighs> I, every time I say Metro, I have to take a sigh. Anyway, um, as you can see, I never freaking use this screen. And I never... Uh, everything I do on Windows 8 is always done on the desktop. I never use this. If I need to do file navigation, I'm always... It's Windows key C and it launches... Uh, uh, Windows key E and it launches computer. So you don't really even have to worry about that. So, Nightly has its own... Um, I guess app for Windows 8. Which is pretty cool. I'll just load this up. Um... And it works, and it works fairly well for being a Windows 8 web browser with the full screen stuff, but like I said, I'm not a giant fan of the Metro or Surface thing, whatever they're, whatever they're calling it now. They, they switched the name at the last second, they're like, Windows 8's coming out, we gotta change it. So, um, yeah, that's a thing. But, I don't know, I like Nightly because it's rolling release, rolling release always has its pros and cons, you know, different things, I guess. Different people will say different things about rolling release. Personally, I like rolling release, but you get a different answer from everybody. So apart from that, that's how you install uh, Firefox Nightly on Ubuntu. Uh, it's any distribution of Ubuntu since, I think it's 10.04. Um, I'm not sure when they added the add add repository command, but even then you can just, like I said, edit your sources file and do it that way. It's up to you. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment, feel free to PM me with ideas for videos or topics or, you know, if you get stuck on something, please feel free to PM me. Apart from that, um, have a good one, guys. See you later.